we want to now give an opportunity to some of our members to show the work that they are carrying on here in Ireland. And we will start with uh, Ifa Maoni, oh, oh Maoni sorry, is the manager of uh, the FERSIS campaign, who will tell us all about the work that they are doing to uh, build a movement of ocean stewardship in Ireland. And uh, I'll... Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry. Thank you, Maria. Um, I think, do we have slides as well, Maria? Perfect. Thank you all for taking the time to join us here this morning. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the Fair Seas campaign. Um, and many of you have may have heard of us already. Many of you are supporting us already in lots of different ways. Um, so I just wanted to give you kind of an update on what we're doing so far and the next steps. So when this campaign started, it would, it's a coalition of ENGOs around Ireland working to to ensure that we can um, protect, conserve and restore our oceans. So one of our key focuses is on MPA legislation that we think will be coming out next summer. Um, so one of the challenges we had when we started the campaign was that there was no map of potential areas of designation. There are maps for wind farm designation, potential wind farm designation. There are maps for fishing. There are lots of different maps, but there was, there was no publicly available map for um, areas that should be considered as marine protected areas. So we worked as a coalition um, to uh, deliver, to create a scientific report, which looked at a certain number of species. We overlaid all of the different data to find the most species rich areas of Irish waters that we think should be considered um, in the marine protected areas legislation and designation. So these are areas of interest. It's not our role as an ENGO or a campaign to designate, but our role is to start the conversation and to make sure that the conversation is informed as we move forward with our MPA designation and management in Ireland. So our, our challenge was to create this map. We created this in June. We launched it in June. Um, we garnered a lot of press coverage um, around this. And since then, we've been trying to raise awareness of our ocean, of the species within it, the different habitats, the different sea seabirds, um, and to build a movement of ocean stewardship in Ireland. So, so to date, we have reached over six, well, we have um, 6,000 followers across all of our different social media platforms, and we've reached over 5 million people across the island to our PR. We've also um, added in a lot of um, input into different consultations. So since April, we have submitted nine consultations and one of those we focused on as well was the Citizens Assembly. So we submitted a submission to the Citizens Assembly on biodiversity loss. And we also presented at um, a recent weekend gathering of the Citizens Assembly of biodiversity loss. So our focus now for the next six months is to focus on the MPA legislation. We're expecting to see the heads of bill or the general scheme in the next few weeks. So we have prepared a list of asks um, of the legislation, 10 asks of the legislation. And we're preparing some information that we can share with everybody um, that we have prepared as a coalition for what we think the MPA legislation should hold. So um, bearing in mind the theme of ocean literacy, what we're trying to do is to generate materials that we can share with ocean advocates, with policy makers and um, different stakeholders so that we can all have an informed um, conversation about where our marine protected areas should be designated. Um, so I think we'll just move on to the next slide. Maria, is there another slide? Lovely. Um, so one of the interesting things we did this year was we did some public perception and some of you might be interested in some of the results of this. So the campaign did a soft launch in February last year when we turned on our, all our social media channels and we announced our name as Fair Seas. Um, so we tried to establish a benchmark in um, awareness of the ocean. And this is building on the work of many of you over so many years. So there were some really positive results. So 37 percent of people um, understood what a marine protected area was in February, which was quite a high number for, for us when we were looking at the benchmarking, we thought we wouldn't be able to increase that, but we have, have we have um, repeated the research in October, just, just this October, and we've seen that that number of people being aware of marine protected areas has now increased to 45%. So that's a you know, that's a big jump in six months and we're delighted to see that there is more conversation. We are getting more coverage of the ocean in the media. We have been sending out more press releases um, at a national level to try and, you know, set that agenda and trying to inform the conversation going forward. So that's really interesting insight to see that. So we have all of this up on our website if you want to go in and look at it in a little bit more detail. But you can see some of the key, key highlights there that 31% um, of people surveyed believe our Irish seas are healthy. 
67% um, of people believe that it's worsened in the last decade. Um, and I'll let you read through there. I've just gotten noticing I've only one minute left and I would like to just move on to the next sign, um, next slide there. Um, and to an extent, to extend an invitation to you all to join us at a World Oceans Day conference in Cork next year. We know this is going to be around the time of the legislation. So what we want to do is we want to move the conversation on from legislation to designation and management. We want to bring all stakeholders together in Cork City Hall on World Oceans Day to talk about how we can do this, how can Ireland do this well. We can learn from people who've gone before us. We know we're a laggard in Europe at the moment, but we know that we can learn from different countries across the world, UK, Scotland, France, Portugal. So we're going to bring international speakers to um, join us at this event. And we've gotten good news this week that this is a UN decade endorsed activity. Um, so we'd love to see you all there to join the conversation and to map out the next steps for marine protected areas in Ireland. Um, so if you'd like to stay in touch with the campaign, please sign up to our monthly newsletter and um, follow us across all the different socials. Thank you so much. Happy to take any questions. Thank you very much, Eva. Thanks for, uh, for your contribution.